Okay, so I was on YouTube the other day and I noticed in the corner of my screen I saw a little sponsored ad. This one caught my attention because it was Martha Stewart's face and I was like, what's Martha selling now? And it said, get up to 25 free meals today. Delicious, simple recipes that'll make you say, mmm, all delivered to your door. Sponsored by Marley Spoon. Now, I don't know if this is actually new or if I'm just late to the party as usual, but Martha Stewart has a food subscription box. Now I feel like with all celebrities, some people love them, some people hate them. With all opinions aside, I think we can agree that Martha Stewart is one heck of a cook. So I went to the Marley Spoon website and sure enough, featuring Martha Stewart's best recipes. So how it works, choose from 100 plus weekly recipes, save time and stress less, schedule your delivery. I really like this idea. I think it was a good marketing move by Martha Stewart. People like me and my mom are curious about her recipes to make it all in into like a food subscription box where you can cook it at home. I mean, it's definitely not a new concept. Other brands are doing it. We have HelloFresh, of course. There's like quite a few, but this one's unique in the sense that it's Martha Stewart's recipes. So I want to try it. Now, the next thing that would have been a disappointment had I been in Canada right now, this does not ship anywhere but the United States. So that's a bummer if you live outside of the States, but I'm here right now. So I'm just going to order it to here. So it works out for the video. So there was a little questionnaire of like the food you'll eat. And then here were all of the food options. So there was lots of good looking stuff, you guys. There was barbecue chicken. There was enchiladas, Parmesan fingerling potato. There was Martha's best chicken and lemon butter or which caught my eye because it says Martha's Best, which if it's Martha's Best, I want to try it in this video. So I ended up choosing the Martha's Best Chicken and Lemon Butter Orzo and the Burst Tomato and Ricotta Pizza Rolls because did you really make a pizza roll? So the total price for two recipes, four portions of each, so eight total, was $47.92 US. There was a sale on it. Usually it'd be $95. 47 is a good price. 47 divided by eight, that's $5.87 US per serving, which in my opinion is pretty decent, especially because it looks so gourmet. So we need to cook this up and see what we think of Martha's recipes. The box is here. It's so heavy. Like I've had meal boxes before. This one is extra heavy, which is making me think there's gonna be lots of ingredients. I don't know how difficult these recipes will be. They were kind of the middle of the road ones. They weren't supposed to be super hard and they weren't supposed to be super easy. So I mean, how hard can like a pizza roll thing be, right? Oh, cool. Okay, so I think it's like in a little basket like this. Got a big ice pack. Okay, and then on the inside, it's all just kind of this paper packaging. Nice. So let me separate them. Wow, these ingredients do look good. Like they all look very fresh. I'm impressed, honestly. Some subscription services put them all in their own bag, but this is not. So I just have to separate everything, which is no big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one aside for later in the video. But for now, we're gonna make this. Mom, hey. come on in. There's a little friend that wants to join you. Thank you. <laughs> he said he wants to be here. Anyone can cook. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> okay, this is what we're making. First tomato and ricotta pizza rolls. Delicious. <laughs> okay, what's the time? <laughs> Holy crap, it says it's gonna take us an oh hour. My gosh. Martha literally would make a meal box where everything takes like an hour to two hours. Okay, so place pizza doughs in a lightly oiled bowl, turning to coat, let it come to room temperature. But yeah, cause it's just like, they're just needing to rise a little. <laughs> Do you wanna close that one? <laughs> it's not gonna come to room temperature cause it's not gonna make it there. Cause I'm gonna eat it all. Right? Oh, I love dough. It smells so fresh. Unpopular opinion, or maybe it's popular. Dough is better than what it turns into. Like cookie dough is better than cookies. Pizza dough is better than pizza. Dough is just better. And this dough is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. And out it goes. Okay, so I'll find a nice sunny spot for this. It'll be happy right there. Okay, sous chef. I need you to chop the shallots. Chop the shallots, check. And we're not professional chefs. Like I'll try not to cut too bad, but anyone can cook. Just do what you gotta do, mom. Yeah. My eyes are just burning from that. Tomatoes, half a teaspoon sugar. Eat. Tomatoes. <laughs> Shallot. 
<laughs> One teaspoon of sugar. A pinch of salt now! Here. Anyone can cook. <laughs> <laughs> that was hardly anything. What are you guys talking about? And we need three fourths cup of water. Back to the heat it goes. Ooh, it smells so good. It does smell good. In the meantime, combine ricotta and half the Parmesan seasoned to taste with salt and pepper. I can't believe this is an hour to be honest. Because yeah. usually like the meal kits we've done, it's like 20 to 30 minutes. This is kind of next level long. Yeah. I'm um, hungry now. <laughs> how do you think that looks? Ooh, that looks good. I got a taste. Yeah. Mmm. So good. That's nice. That's really nice. Honestly, it could use a little more salt. Okay, and maybe a little more pepper too? Yeah, yeah. that's probably good then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Settle down. <laughs> Less is more. Place dough on a lightly floured work surface. Sprinkle with flour. Oh, that's something we probably need to have. Okay, I'll see what I can find. There's a Vitamix, there's rice. I can make rice flour in a second. This isn't gonna be good. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Look at it, you guys. We made flour. Anyone can cook. Come here, bread. I think this might be the towel I dried my ingrown toenail on. <laughs> Which reminds me, I have a walk-in clinic appointment for my ingrown toenail in like an hour, so we need to get going. I'm not afraid of using your ingrown toenail towel. Yeah, for some reason, me neither. <laughs> Stuart? I'm a little afraid. <laughs> I'm just gonna start by doing it like a pizzeria. <laughs> Who's actually kind of impressed? Like I know some people are sitting there right now being like, wait a minute, I'm actually kind of impressed with Mia right now. Ready? So eight by 12, like that's pretty good, right? I think it is really good. You killed it. That's why they call me chef. Ooh, look at you. Anyone can cook. <laughs> And then you just dollop this. Oh yes, look at that. Starting with longer edge, roll up, tucking in the filling as you go. <laughs> that one's gonna be just dough. <laughs> oh, look at how cute those are. I could just see Martha Stewart making this. Right? We're gonna put them in the oven. It's preheated now to 450 for 20 to 30 minutes. Oh yeah. Look at that. Woohoo! There we go. Now we still have something else to do. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Okay, so I'm gonna put the salad in the bowl. It's just spinach leaves. And then we're gonna half the pesto. And then this will be going on the salad. So I'm gonna wait until the pizza rolls are done, but then we're gonna plate it all and we're actually gonna try it. So we'll see you then. Oh my God. I'm so hungry. <laughs> right? It looks so good. I'm not talking. I need it. <laughs> Time to eat. I need to That's try amazing. this. It's like a cinnamon bun, but it's pizza. It is. It honestly is. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to try it. Okay. Okay. Mm, that is amazing. We made that. That is really good. That ricotta in there oh. is so fresh. And right? these tomatoes. My mm -hmm. gosh. Okay. One was really good. Now we gotta try the other one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, you guys. I'm back from urgent care. <laughs> it was not an ingrown toenail. It was just a toe infection. <laughs> so I'm on antibiotics now. This is me on antibiotics. Earlier was me not on antibiotics. And now we will eat. Okay, so we're gonna be making Martha's Best Chicken and Lemon Butter Orzo. This is like the stamp of Martha's Best. So first thing, we're gonna preheat the oven, we're gonna cut up these onions, and we're gonna cut up garlic. Let's do it. This one says it'll take 30 to 40 minutes. So less than the last one. So I'm happy. Is that scary? <laughs> Yo! Anyone can cook. Since you are done, and I am done, shall we together rinse the chicken? Let's do it. Where are you, chicken? I there, it's warm. To... I was actually kind of singing good. <gasps> That's what it says. <laughs> I'm supposed to That's use what... one whole thing on the front, Mom. On the front? Wow. Because one's for the back. Oh, wow. Oh, what's that magic seasoning, I wonder? It smells delicious. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah. I just feel like Martha right now. Hot. Should I put them in? Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's just gonna fit. Two to three minutes per side. 
We gotta turn them. We gotta turn them. Yes, we do. I accidentally set it to 10, ten hours. <laughs> we need to turn them. Yes, we do. We need to turn them. Oh, those look good. The chicken's cooking up. We got the chicken. We got the chicken here. We got the chicken. We got the chicken in here. We got the chicken. Stop. Stop looking at it. Don't look. Chickens are coming out. Butter is going in. Four tablespoons of butter. Oh my gosh, that's so much butter. No wonder it's gonna be good. That beautiful butter. Okay, so then we add orzo. If you guys have never had orzo, it looks like rice, but it's pasta. It's so fun and I'm so excited about it. So that goes in next. And then we add the chicken broth and the chicken and then it goes into the oven. Add some salt, bring to a simmer over medium high heat and then take it off the heat and place the chicken on top. Toss it up. Okay, orzo, toast that up. I love one pot meals. They're like my favorite, right? So nice. Whenever people come out with companies like this, I'm always curious how much involvement they actually have in it. Like how much of Martha's hands, Martha's 80, five-year-old hands is actually on this company. But I think to get her seal like it's one of Martha's best recipes, it would have to be like truly one of her best recipes. I hope so. Chicken broth. Chicken's back in. Are you ready? Ready. 400 degrees. For 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes on the clock. Now this is our break period where we have to get things ready. We have to zest, like we have to zest some lemon and we have to squeeze some lemon. So I think there's a zester down here. <laughs> this is where I always get my nail. Like don't go so hard then. You're freaking me out. Mom, how much do you need? Two tablespoons. We're gonna be here one. What? We're not gonna be able to, Martha. <laughs> Okay, I'll just give you that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll move that you over. You suck this lemon juice. <laughs> now I need two tablespoons of lemon juice. I wonder if you're gonna need it all, right? Because whatever we don't use, we have to cut into wedges, it says. And we don't need that. They always say that. They lying. Okay, and then I guess we'll just wait for that to be ready. Right, see you're on break now. Yeah! A few moments later. I'm bringing okay. over a hot pan. Just be so careful, honey. I can't, I have to touch it all over. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, that smells so good. Yahoo! Okay, be careful, it might steam out. Look at that. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't, I have to touch it all over. <laughs> Remy told me to do that. Stop. Mom, Remy's Remy. telling me to do it. No, run it under cold water. Come over here. Did you really hurt yourself? Oh no. I'm so sorry that you did that. Parmesan, lemon juice, and lemon zest. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Grace. Oh my gosh, there's so much spinach. Okay, health. Okay, body. Tippy even thinks this smells good. Yeah, he's, he's like, what are you guys making he's up there? Around. Mm -mm -mm. What smells so good in here? Scoop it on, mommy. Scoop it on. Wow, Kay. look how nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe we made two like gourmet meals today. Right? Let's try we it. We did it. Martha's fave. Oh yeah. We're at Martha's house. She's invited us for this delicious meal. Oh my gosh. That's delicious. So good. That lemon is so mm. good. I can see how this is Martha's favorite. You did such a good job with this. You did too. And the mm. chicken's cooked well. It's absolutely delicious. What a great dish. It's fresh, it's tasty. A one pot meal, just right like this. 